after an individual. And that's the Bob Souza Excellence Award. We've never named an award after an individual before. Coach Souza, uh, he's the only Hall of Fame member. He was inducted as a player, captain of the 1957 state champion baseball team, inducted as a coach, uh, first coach of ice hockey, um, undefeated his first year, uh, great hockey coach, also coached JV baseball for many years, uh, coach, uh, assistant coach in football, uh, as well as being a great history teacher. So Coach Souza is a legend here in Somerset. And we've appreciated all that he has done um, as, a, as an athlete, as a coach, as a teacher, as a mentor. Uh, just look at how many people have come, including from not even, you know, like Gary Breen coming from Connecticut. Uh, other people coming uh, from all over uh, to see Coach Souza. And when we, when we named the award, uh, the Bob Souza Excellence Award, uh, Representative Haddad um, felt that we should do something even more. And, um, and she offered to have something done with the State House. And we wanted to do this last year. But obviously with COVID, uh, that canceled everything. And then we wanted to be able to try and schedule it this year, but it wasn't until recently that we were even allowing fans to come uh, to games and then it's been about a week and a half with that you don't have to wear masks. And so uh, with the season coming to an end, uh, even though we've gone later than usual because our season uh, was pushed back, um, this, was, this was an opportunity to actually have it done uh, before one of the contests. And I didn't think Coach Suze would mind if we did it at the tennis courts. Um, but we thought it would be a nice, nice gathering to do it. And, uh, and I really want to thank uh, Representative Haddad because uh, she's, she's been on this right from the start. And <laughs> we've, been, we've been talking for like over a year about when can we do it, how can we do it. Um, and so yesterday we just said we're going to put it together and do it. So again, uh, Representative Haddad, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you. And again, thank you everybody for coming. So, oh no, don't clap. We'll, we'll, there'll be lots of time to clap in a minute. So first of all, I'm one of the lucky people who, um, when I was a student teacher, Bob was there. And then when I got a job, Bob was there. And then I was able to watch Bob be a coach. And as I coached gymnastics, so much of um, the things he did, I hope, were reflected in things I did. We go, um, we go way back. I used to get up at some ungodly hour of the morning and drive my husband and my brother so they could go play ice hockey with Bob. And they'd all go back to bed and I'd have to go to work. So, um, you know, I've watched him. I've watched him be um, a teacher. I've watched him be a coach. And I've watched him be somebody who never, ever forgets the kids. You know, there's a saying that if you walk up to Bob, he'll tell you what year you graduated. And I'm sure that's true, because he never forgets. But he's also been an incredible member of the community. And so often, he would reach out to me and tell me I was doing a good job. <laughs> I can't tell you what that meant, because um, Bob's a guy who always did a good job always did a good job. So when I learned about this, I thought, well, you know, there's got to be something more. It's great that you, you know, that your name is on something, but in the um, State House, we're allowed to do a few things by resolution. And those resolutions go through the, the uh, process, the legislative process. So when Doug and I talked about it, I said, this is something that years from now, you can say to your kids, go to the archive in the state of Massachusetts and see my coach or my friend Bob was recognized. So let me just, you know, these, we say all these nice words, but they don't really, they're not able to hold the emotion that I know I feel and I know many of you feel. So here's what you're going to find in the archives of the state of Massachusetts. Congratulating Robert F. Souza on being inducted into the Somerset Athletic Hall of Fame. Whereas, Robert F. Souza has been inducted into the Somerset Athletic Hall of Fame. Robert is the first individual to be inducted in six different capacities. 
And whereas Robert F. Sousa is first inducted into the Somerset Athletic Hall of Fame as an athlete from Somerset High School class of 1957, and whereas Robert is inducted as a head coach of the hockey team from 1972 to 1982, and also as head coach of a team for ice hockey, 1972-1973. Did I read that right? <laughs> Uh, it's been a while since I did it. Whereas Robert F. Souza is further honored as being the first individual to have an award named after him by the Somerset Athletic Hall of Fame, the Robert F. Souza Excellence Award. Therefore, be it resolved that the members of the Massachusetts House of Representatives hereby join with his colleagues, family, friends in paying honor and tribute to Robert F. Souza for his splendid achievements and extend to him their sincere congratulations for best wishes for continued success in future endeavors and be it further resolved that a copy of these resolutions be forwarded to the clerk of the House of Representatives and to Robert F. Souza. And it was signed by then Speaker Bob DeLeo and um, Stephen G. James, our clerk, and myself. And I am very proud. turn you around so you can stay seated would you do that for us sure, can you yes. okay my man Number five. Number five. <laughs> this is unbelievable to have this many people here today totally unexpected <coughs> I thought it would just be Pat driving me here <laughs> and maybe one of the custodians. But it was a great honor to be a coach and especially be a teacher in the Somerset Public School System. I started here September of 1961. In that graduating class, from Providence College, which we graduated this week, 60 years ago, from Providence. And the Wareham athletic director and later coach, Joe Caffarella, was the captain of our baseball team, senior year of Providence. We had an 18 game season. We were 10 and 8, didn't make the tournament. But Joe set a record, which is still there, most home runs in a season by an individual player. He hit seven home runs. That is still the individual record. 18 games were played that year. Baseball was dropped at Providence. The oldest sport, 78 years, was dropped in 1999. It had begun in 1921 when the school first opened its doors. So even though I have the Providence College hat with me, <laughs> it led me to a great career, a great community, and great people in this town of Somerset. And today, for people to come out and reminisce with me is spectacular. I think I can hear the engine of a plane coming from Santa Monica, California. Paul <laughs> Laflam had better prepare for Bob Strohmeyer's visit. Because <laughs> you never know when Bob is going to board a plane and come back to his roots as he did in 19, 
in the 2013 when the team was inducted. So anyway, too hot for me to be haunting you. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer. <laughs> You've all been great as students, as players, and as time went on, as friends. And I thank you very much every day of my life for the association. Thanks again for coming. Something. I just want you kids to, to just see why these people are here. So if you were a student of Bob, can you raise your hand? If you were a player of Bob's, raise your hand. If you taught with Bob, raise your hand. And if you coached with Bob, raise your hands. He, he... How about becoming his cousin? Oh. <laughs> All right, if you're a family, you can raise your hand. But you're up, there's an expectation here. I just wanted you kids to know that what, what, everything you do in sports is so important, and it, it, it develops relationships like this for your whole life. So thank you for stopping your game and uh, indulging us. We really appreciate it. Cool.